everyone in today's video i'm going to be doing a full face using nyx products so some of these items are new like the high gloss that i picked up the new eyeliners and stuff like that and some of it is going to be old products that i've already pretty much had i also picked up the born to glow concealer and the high gloss highlighter so i'm really really excited i honestly loved how everything came out and don't buy my christmas tree she is moving soon I don't think I'm going to decor it for Valentine's Day. I think I'm just going to decor it not like normally, like how I normally would. All right, I'm going to stop talking and we're just going to get started with the video. I'm going to go ahead and start. I have nothing on my face right now besides moisturizer, so I need a prime. So I am using the High Glass Face Primer Rush. Look how cool this looks though. It has like little nubs. I don't know. It reminded me of a cow. <laughs> I don't know it's really interesting so i'm excited to try this out i'm going to be priming my face with the new high glass glass face primer this one comes in three shades so i picked up number two i think that's a pretty good decent amount so this is honestly perfect for everybody i'm mainly putting this in my cheeks area where i mainly get more dry just because it does have little micro pearls in it the brush actually feels really good all right let's see how it smells I don't really smell anything. I know people are really big on that, but I don't smell anything. So like I mentioned, I am oily, so I am going to go in with the pore filler. It's mainly on my nose. This one's a little travel size, but mainly just put this in my nose area. It's very, very similar to the Benefit Professional. I love this stuff so much because it does help to really mattify my skin, especially around my nose area. Cute. And I always let that dry for about a minute and then I put on my foundation. All right, so as that's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lips. I'm using the Cannabis Sativa Lip Conditioner. This is honestly amazing. I've been using this for probably about a month now and my lips have been so much more smoother. It does kind of go on as a lip gloss, but it does kind of mattify down a little bit. I feel like it just goes into my lips and just helps to repair within. It has CBD oil in it, doesn't have the THC in it. All right, I'm gonna quickly put on some foundation. This one's not new to me. Um, I've been using this for a good while. I am in the shade Natural. This is the Can Stop Won't Stop foundation. Since I am oily, I like to use this foundation just because it does help to really mattify me down. All right, the next step I'm using is concealer. This is the new one. It's a Born to Glow concealer. I honestly have been using this. I've been using this for a while, and I love it because it does have that little dome up top. Super full coverage, but it also helps to hydrate. I don't know about you guys, but my under eyes is super, super dry. So I just like to put this on underneath and just pretty much everywhere where I normally conceal. It helps to hydrate in those areas too. But not overly excessively because I like to put it on my nose and it doesn't make my nose oily, so that's nice. This one's in the shade Natural, number 7. I need to have more coverage on my nose just because I do have freckles there. So that's why I like to put some on my nose area just to give me that coverage. Cute. Okay, so this is one of the items that I don't have from NYX because I actually ran out of my loose powder so i'm using the airspin one always have to set your under eyes um, i know some people don't set it and then it just kind of fades away so you always have to really set everything to me i have to set my entire face because i feel like it just locks it in place boom there's that my brows i'm using the this one's not new to me either but this is the precision brow pencil i'm in the shade ash brown i like this one a lot too because it does have kind of like a tapered little bit of a taper to it so that's why i like it a lot i'm just gonna quickly do this i feel like i forever doing my brows all right guys so i'm about to put you guys on something real real quick so i mascara my eyebrows i know that sounds so freaking weird you're gonna be like what the hell did you just say because they actually have something similar to this it's actually a actual tinted brow uh, mascara but i use just regular mascara because i feel like that's a whole another purchase that i could avoid the next on the rise and i'm just kind of like taking off the excess mascara on there and what i'm gonna do are you guys ready for this what i'm gonna do is i'm going to mascara my eyebrows so i use a really really light hand i don't know if you guys can see i'm gonna use a really really light hand and Kind of go in there and set it. I like it because you can see my brow hairs more 
versus this one. It's kind of like just draw on, but this one you can see my brow hairs a lot more. I don't know, I just feel like that makes the biggest difference to my eyebrows because you can see the actual hairs now. On to the next, I'm going to go ahead and do bronzer really quickly. One of the other products that I don't have of NYX products is a bronzer. So I'm going to quickly, this one is the Morphe bronzer. I don't even know how you pronounce that, but that's it, girl. And I'm going to quickly just bake. So I let that normally sit for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna go in with my blush by NYX I actually have the I think it comes with 10 like a little set and I just can't find it I think it's in my makeup kit when I do freelancing but I'm using this one this is in the, in the shade mauve I'm just gonna quickly put a little bit on I've had this one actually for years too Honestly, it has lasted me forever. I don't really go in too much with um, bron uh, with bronzer, with blush because I just personally don't like how it looks on me. Um, I personally like more bronzer than anything. All right, guys, I am so freaking excited for this one. So again, this one I've used for a couple of times, but I wanted to show you guys the high glass illuminating powder. This is so freaking gorgeous. Look at that. Like a pressed powder. It's super pretty. It's really, really creamy. It's not a creamy one, but it's not powdery either. It's like in the middle. So I'm going to take a brush like this a lot. This one's in Daytime Halo. And let me just show you guys. I normally do two to three coats, but it is so pretty. It's not really a blinding highlighter, and I personally like that because sometimes I want to keep it just very natural, but I still want a little bit there. They do come in three different shades, so I really, really love this one. It's so pretty. Okay, guys. So these are something that I'm really, really more excited of. And this one, I picked up a br another brush. This one's number 44. It's a nice, very thin, tapered brush, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of eyeshadow on the next eyeshadows are not gonna be from NYX because I quickly want to just put a little bit on um, and I can't find of course when I'm trying to film I can't find the freaking eyeshadow palette that I have but I'm going to be using the pixie by Petra um, they just sent me some PR today so I'm gonna use that like gray tone color right here oh wait right here yeah and I'm just gonna quickly put that in my crease because I want my main focus to be eyeliner and I'll show you guys that right right now actually I like this brush it's nice and small so that way you can get right in there okay I'm gonna leave it just like that because I want my main focus to be my eyeliner I picked these two up which is the epic wear by NYX and I grabbed the shade white and red so I don't know if you guys have ever used the NYX ones before. Those ones were a little bit cracky and a little bit more drying, but these ones are super hydrating and they go on so smooth. So I don't know which shade I want to do. I feel like a lot more people are going to want to see the white one versus the red one. So I think I might do a white one. should have done this before my foundation, but didn't. So wish me luck. Ah, crud. I looked at the mirror. I'm looking back and forth because I want to make sure that I am in frame. All right, guys, there she is. I got a little bit of white on my lashes, but that's fine. It does not crack like how the one before would. And I did the other one too off camera quickly. Okay, I need some lashes because I look so freaking weird. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes and put some mascara on the On The Rise Mascara by NYX. This one's one of my faves. All right guys, so I'm gonna go in with the Obsessed Lashes. These ones are in the shade, I'm sorry. These ones are in the style Snowflake. I've been obsessed with these and wearing them nonstop. So honestly, I think I'm gonna wear them the last time today and then throw them out. Let me show you guys the red one. I didn't even swatch the red one for you guys. This is the red, and you can tell it's the red one underneath. Look at this. Not wait to put this all over my eyelid. And then the white one too. These seriously do not crack. 
So I'm gonna let these ones dry. And I know that they had other colors in it too. They had like a yellow, they had like a gray one, they had a lavender one, they had a black one, like a traditional black one, and then I'm not sure if that's all the colors. I think they had a blue one too. They're drying down, and you can see that they are not cracking. I'm so glad that they reformulated these kind. Um, and I hope they come out with other colors too. Okay, so next for lips, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the dark shade. I honestly use like three shades and I'll show you right now. This is shade Beauty Mark. It is so pretty, such a dark shade, but I personally don't like to wear such dark shades by themselves. So that's why I combine with other colors too. Oh my God, who am I? I need to put lip liner. So the lip liner that I'm using, Guide Me by Morphe. You can use whatever you like. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Beauty Mark. Oh damn, I really lined my lip with that one. I'm gonna go in with Soft Spoken. Ah! Soft Spoken on my lips. This is the um, NYX Liquid Suede ones, just minis. That way I can kind of nude it down a little bit more so it's, my lips are not so dark. Put this all over. So I don't know why I cannot find my other lipstick, but it is very similar to this one. It, this one is the Too Faced Melted Marshmallow, but basically like a light pink. I like to put right in the center, just like so. Blend it in. Do you see that? So cute. It kind of looks purpley. That's normally what I do with all my lipsticks. I just mix and match them. So you can see how dark this shade was, and then I just mixed it with Soft Spoken to kind of tone it down and then a little bit of pink so that way it's more muted down still cute because it has like that ombre effect. lastly two other things that i picked up i think these two are the last ones went ahead and picked up these are so cute perfect for valentine's day i went ahead and picked up the what are they called picked up these shaped glitters these are so cute in there look how cute that is these heart shaped little glitters I'm literally going to pop some on real, real quick. Okay. Hopefully the glue didn't dry down. I'm just going to... Oh my goodness. It is so cute. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, so the other one that they did come out were stars. Let me show you the stars. I'll probably just do the star on this one too. This is it. The cute little star. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut that on my inner corner and quickly put that on okay i put too much glue but that's fine it's gonna dry down but look how cute those two are it's the heart one cosmic love and then this one is electro obviously the heart one's perfect for like valentine's day the star i feel like you can definitely use for like raves if you're into that I know raves are super, super popular, so if you guys like to do that, NYX got you. And if you guys don't have the glitter glue, I used um, a regular lash glue, and it pretty much worked. They are pretty much on. I don't think I've ever used shape glitter before, but I'm really excited now that I have it, so I can start doing some. I really, really want to do a Valentine's look with the heart one. That'd be so freaking cute, because Valentine's Day is literally coming up, so... Maybe the next video will be a Valentine's Day look. Alright guys, that is basically it for today. I really loved how everything came out. I loved all the brand new stuff that just came out. I didn't pick up every single thing, so there are still some items that I didn't include in this video that I'm pretty sure you guys will see on the website or in store. Um, I didn't pick up every single thing. I just picked up, just picked up what was most eye-catching to me. I really want to do a Wet n Wild full face using maybe new products if they have new products. I really have to look at their website to see if they even have new products. But I would love to do a full face using Wet n Wild or any other drugstores that you guys might recommend. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any recommendations of what brands I should do next. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!